What is up guys, Elite Tricks here, and today we're going to be playing another Fallout New Vegas quest mod. But this time we're going to have a few other weapon mods in here too to help us out on our adventure. The quest mod is called The Inheritance. When you start it up, you'll be prompt with this message. It says, you've heard rumors of an aloof elderly gentleman in Novak who is offering a considerable sum for a delivery job. Uncertain of his origins or motives, the locals only mention the mysterious man in hushed tones. As an experienced courier long accustomed to making deliveries in hazardous conditions, you would likely be well suited for the task. Perhaps you should speak with the man in Novak and determine if you stand to profit from the offer. The inheritance is recommended for experienced couriers level 20 plus. Right, let's go ahead and get all the guns out because I've uh, went and got them all before. So we're going to be going over what weapons we have today. Let me get a little list of who they're by because I really don't remember. Alright, so we have the Glock 17 by M. Tendall. It's a pretty looking gun. Let's go ahead and equip it. Its damage is 16. Now look how beautiful that Glock looks. Sounds real nice too. Alrighty, sorry about that. We had a little interruption. The next weapon is the M4 Custom by Spam PTRS. It is a Metal Gear Solid 4 style M4. Look at that on your back. Damn, doesn't this thing look sexy? Sounds beefy too. The damage on it is a 25. And next, we have the Mousebug 590 by crime minister so let's go ahead and take a look at this actually go ahead and bind our weapons too while we're at it so we don't have to do it later and look at this beautiful mossberg i've always been a fan of the mossberg shotguns and it sounds real beefy and then our final weapon for today is the m14 by M millennia i believe is how you say it not 100 percent sure i probably completely butchered it look at this beauty and it has a scope it comes with advanced rifling parts I believe it is and a suppressor of synthetic parts uh, this is the only weapon that I have the mods for I don't think any of them else came with mods yeah so I don't have any of the mods for them yet but let's go ahead go to the quest the inheritance speak with Joe Sellers about the delivery so let's go see oops um, they said Novak rolls over there. Where was Novak? Novak was in the bottom, right? God, it's been so long since I played. I don't even know where Novak is. Novak. <coughs> Sorry about that. Alright, let's go speak with him. So I'm guessing he's in. Also have Project Nevada install, which just adds bullet time and a few tweets like you can sprint. Uh, is this it? You? There you go. Are you there? Are you here for the delivery job? Come closer, please. Alright, so the old elderly man would like us to come closer. I'm a little scared about this. Ooh, look at that safe. Right, let's go on over to him. Yes. He's got a bunch of drugs over there. I recognize you. A regular courier would suffice, but you. Well, you must know about our special. Yes. You're a person of many parts, aren't you? Yep. I heard you cheated death. Left quite a mark around here. Nothing like being dug out of a shallow grave to give you perspective, eh? How do you know about that? All this time, everything you've done, <coughs> your choices, <coughs> the people you've killed, you can't control that story. Yes, I can. You may not realize it. I can definitely control the story. Coming the stuff of legend. Whether you like it or not, if not for my infirm condition. I'd be apt to hear your take on things. You have made your choices, seen the consequences. I did much the same long ago in another life. 
and another life. I am still paying for those choices. Couriers have a special role. One of trust. I hope you will maintain that fidelity. As this delivery... It's... I can't put this off any longer. I want you to deliver a package to a man in Westside. His name is Bradley. In exchange, Ooh. I will pay you 500 caps. All up front. And I'm a little congested. Sorry about that, guys. Hopefully I'm not too coffee and sniffly during this video. Is the proposed uh, yeah, I'll do it. Deliver this letter and key to Bradley, a mercenary under the employ of the West Side Militia. Once the letter is delivered, you are free of any responsibility to me. However, if you elect to assist Bradley, I will be in your debt. I hope this will be an end to things. A just settlement. Good luck, courier. I Alright, wow. So, he's a very generous man paying us the whole 500 up front. Because, like, what if we just blew him off? Alright, so, oops. I always forget it's left. And let's go to west side. And deliver the key. I am going to actually assist Bradley in this. Because it makes the quest longer. And I feel like it would be more fun than just giving him the stuff and then saying, hey, uh, I was paid 500 bucks, Someone see you later. But no, we're actually going to help this man out. Uh, where is Bradley? Is Bradley up here? Yep. Look, I'm on duty. If you've got something to say, make it quick. Uh, I've got a delivery for you. What? Are you sure it's for me? Yeah, the old man right. told me. Give me a second. Hold on. I thought I heard something. I think I heard something too. Oh, oh fucking hell. What are the ammo I got for this? High powered armor pierce. Let's go to that. That man just ran through the ground. Come back in the tower, please. I ain't gonna run away. No, don't you run away from me. Oh. <laughs> God, I'm not the best with sniper rifles. Alright, is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Where how did Bradley go? Oh, nope, I lied. Right, now I think that's all of them. Shut your suck. Nope. Kill some fiends. Oh, that is a lot of them. I don't know what the night vision is. Do I have a stealth field on now? I think that's all of them. Alright, now that's finally all of them. God damn. I haven't seen that many raiders since I guarded a caravan passing through 80s territory. You're a courier, right? After that yeah. little fracas, color me impressed. You moved like a merc. Glad you were here. Well, thank you, Bradley. Since we got a little breathing room, I'd like to check out that package. I like your weapon. Sealed letter. Let's see what it says. <clears throat> Dear Bradley, my name is Joe Sellers. I'm almost certain you've never heard of me. No shit. <laughs> I wrote this letter, I was unsure if I'd send it or to send it. Okay. 
You made choices long ago that impacted you more than you may know. Maybe it's his son. Decisions, how things turned out. We'll get to the point. I am your father. Yep. I separated with your mother not long after you were born. The reasons for my decision are complicated. It was not for lack of feeling or shirt responsibility. <laughs> Full fucking shit. <laughs> On the contrary, I became an exile to ensure your safety. Not long after I met your mother, there was a war, and I was on the losing side. Mere association with me could be mistaken for complicity. As a result, I cut all ties with your mother. She went to Reno, and I wandered. I've no doubt you harbor resentment for my actions. Fuck you. <laughs> if you hate me or only wish to ignore me, I only beg you to accept my parting gift. Consider it my feeble attempt to reckon for your abandonment. I know you have subsisted as a soldier of fortune for some time. I never wanted that life for you. But in your life, cocksucker, there is a vault in the Mojave that can take wealth to let you start anew. You could leave the hazards of the frontier behind you. There's nothing I can offer to make up for the pain I inflicted on you and your mother, but I still owe you this birthright. It's all that I have left. Make no mistake, this is not a simple salvage. You must walk a dangerous path to collect the means to access the vault. However, I believe your profession has given you the skills and necessary fortitude to see this through. Enclosed with this letter is a key. The first of three required to open the vault. The next key is in Linus Caverns in the Mesquite Mountains. It's been so long since these measures were put in place, I have no idea what you'll find there aside from the next key. I understand if you wish to dispose of this note and erase any notion of connection to me, you would be more than justified. Consider this my last will and testament. Your father, Joe Sellers. No bullshit. Is this some kind of con? Come clean or I'll butt stroke your fucking skull. Well then. Excuse my skepticism, but what the fuck am I supposed to make of this? Some old coot writes me, says I inherited his stash. That is true. Even if it's a con, it's shit. He expects me to go digging through fuck knows what kind of shitholes to get some keys? Fuck that noise. Let's get something real clear. I don't have a father. Let's say, however unlikely it may be, that this old fuck knocked up my mom back in 41. Blowing your wad and walking away <laughs> doesn't make you a father. This cocksucker had some nerve if he thinks he can just pay me off. Him and his long John Silver bullshit give me a fucking treasure map to fuck all. To hell with that. To hell with him. Still, I have no way of knowing if he's just another asshole. I believe him. What I think he is, ex-enclave. That could be worth my time. Those old bastards still have munition dumps scattered around. A lot of pre-war tech sells for a mean price out here. Fucking Van Graaff scavenged the shit out of everyone. It'd be fun to undercut them. I'm not opposed to investigating this, and I'd be willing to split some of the goods if you help out. Seems you know how to handle yourself. Only thing is that I'm under contract to West Side, and as you just saw, there's something of a fiend problem. I don't know where they get the manpower, but fiends keep coming out of the woodwork to attack West Side. Even though badass bounty hunters killed some of their ringleaders, it seems someone else is stepping in to stir them into a frenzy. Rumor has it some strung out witch doctor has the fiends on a drug fueled holy ward against West Side. Really, I, I couldn't make this up. It seems he's holed up in the old Hoffman mine just west of here. If you can take him out, the fiend attacks should taper off. If the fiends are neutralized, I should be clear of my duties here, at least long enough to track down the vault. Okay, I sounds have to good to me. Watch, but I'll throw in some caps if you take care of this for me. Afterward, we can strike off together. Deal? I'll do it. Good. Here's a few things I was holding on to. They should help you clear those fuckers out. Just check back with me when it's done. Uh, okay, that's just a grenade hockey. That's from Project Nevada. Alrighty, let's go ahead and go clear out some fiends. Alright, let's see where we got to go to now, because we got a key now. Is that the key? Oh, Lord. Oh, basement key. 257 shotgun. Oh, I knew it. I heard somebody behind me. 
Oh, so many of them. Hatchet Sal. Die Hatchet Sal. She run away. Should be one more, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and map. Damn, I don't have any shotgun shells either. Could have swore I did. Alright, so I can't go out there. Oh, there's John. Where'd this guy come from? head. Why is there death claw in here? Oh god. Oh, I need to heal. We'll use the stem pack. How much health does this thing have? Thank God. Take some purified water. Alright, so there's gotta be another door somewhere. Is this it? Yeah, there we go. Take it even if it has rides on it. Kai has another dead claw. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh, that don't make it easier. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. There we go. Hello, oh, chef. Hello, chef. Sorry I'm in your kitchen, but, you know, I need the food. Nope, oh, shotgun shells. Okay, so there's light machine gun, or not light machine gun, oh, dynamite. There's the big mini gun. Oh, there's Wolf Boy again, whatever his name was. Wasteland Survivor guy. That looks like a hatch right there. Alright, let's see what the note says. Alright, we are back. Sorry about that. I had a cough really bad. I'm still a little bit sick. Just this stupid, annoying cough. But, dear consumer, thank you for your participation in the exciting Shocker Glove pilot program. You're receiving a prototype that model of the Shocker Glove. Please reference this prototype number in any future correspondence. We encourage you to make this prototype a part of your daily life and look forward to your valuable feedback. Thanks from all of us at the Shocker Glove R&D team. P.S. Shocker Glove prototypes are not for use in water, public, near small children, or domesticated animals. This is not a kitchen appliance and should not be used near uncooked food. Use of Shocker Glove prototype constitutes a binding agreement to hold manufacturer harmless for any and all legal purposes. During prolonged use, severe electrical burns may occur. Do not look directly at Shocker Glove operating. Some prototype models have proven sensitive to certain radio frequencies during use. If you suspect radio interference, please submit a 
malfunction report listing FCC broadcast frequencies and operation at the time to report and report to nearest emergency medical facility in your area. Nothing in the gun cabinet. Is that it? I could have swore I was supposed to just find like a key or something over here. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Yo, get the fuck out of here, you ugly ass thing. Anyway, you stupid dog. Move that in. Oh god. Make sure I didn't miss anything in this room. Okay, I definitely don't want to sleep here. There's dynamite that's going off for some reason. I swear there's a key back here. Nope. Hmm. I'm Maybe there wasn't anything in here. So no, there was nothing in here. Oh, more shotgun shells. I lied, there was something in here. Alright, I don't see a key or anything. <laughs> what the hell? Um, okay. What the fuck? Alright, so it's not good to the first one. Let's try a second one. Alright, second one puts me in the kitchen. This should be the third one. Oh, what the hell? Uh, hello there, Doc Mitchell. See what the note says. Your turn. Your turn. No, you shouldn't have done that. What did I do? Oh, dynamite. Oh, 44 million. What the hell? Oh my lord. What? Son of a bitch. I could have swore I still had health, but I'm guessing I didn't. Whoopsies. Alright, so we're back in here. Side chamber, get the note, get all that from Dot Mitchell. God, he is really far reach. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, what the fuck? Oh 
Oh god, baby death claw. Baby death claw. Baby death claw. Bring it, bitch. Oh god. Guess that didn't help. God, is this thing like literally doing no damage? At least he's just standing there and taking it like a man. How is this thing not dead? How is he not dead? Fuck off. Now I gotta eat more food. Like dirty water. Oh, now he's angry. Wait, he's not supposed to get back here. Oh, fuck. You load faster. Do I not have any more food? Where'd he go? Where'd the little fish go? No, oh God. There we go. Finally. Oh, where's the other one? What the hell? Oh. Okay, yeah, I've already been down here. What? Oh, yeah, I gotta go through the... Whatchamacallit? Through the hatch. Can't open that door. It's the teddy bear room. Music room. Is there anything that I can open? I have a basement key, so let's see if we can go to the basement. Just make sure there's nothing over here. No, there's not. Now there was a door over here. We'll see if there's any more doors. Alright, well where am I supposed to go now? Apparently there's a key. Apparently there was a key hidden in here. But I don't know where the key is. Alright, one, two, three. Try four. Stop, Mitchell. Fuck off. Well, I just killed Doc Mitchell. My game just crash. Yes, it did. <laughs>